It's a sight we haven't seen in more than a year. Amidst the backdrop of the Rocky Mountains sits a line of cars full of Canadians waiting to cross the carway border into neighboring Montana. Albertans, like Geraldine Smith, anxious to get a second shot of the COVID vaccine. We are just a little nervous about waiting for four months. And so that's why we come. My husband has had Crohn's for 30 years. He's on a biologic. And so we're not sure that the vaccine, the first dose, will be enough to get us through. Uh, are you guys getting Pfizer or Moderna? Pfizer. Okay, and, this neighborly uh, kindness began with an excess supply of vaccines in Montana's Enscampe Bigani Nation that were about to expire. With 95% of them already vaccinated, they offered it up to Canadians. And working with the state of Montana and the doctor that has um, offered... Uh, more doses that the, Mon the state of Montana wants to open up for Albertans. And so we'll work with them um, and and Amskapi um, Pigani uh, will continue to provide their um, excess doses to our Blackfoot members and, and the public. So we don't know how much longer, but, you know, really hoping that um, we start to see uh, more availability of second doses in Alberta and this is what a lot of people are coming for is second dose. Yeah, I just saw on Facebook that they had a short line today and I figured if no one else is going to go I might as well go get a vaccine and get all up to date. This will be my second one actually. So I have no faith in our federal system so um, I think he's um, f failed in procuring a vaccine supply uh, for all of Canada. So um, because I have no faith in that, I'm down here to try and look after myself. Canadians getting vaccinated will receive papers to show that they actually got their shot in the arm today. They will then be required to turn right around, cross through that border crossing right behind me. Now those papers will exempt them from that two-week quarantine period required by the Canadian government. I am so thankful for the U.S. and the Blackfoot Nation opening up to us as fellow Canadians because I think that that's like to give us free vaccinations. We talked to a young fellow um, that came and he said they just want everything back to normal and so do we. So, I mean, how North American is that? For Bridge City News, I'm Jeanette Roche.